purpose of this tutorial is going to be to explore solving systems of equations using substitution. You're going to be given two different equations. Uh, and you can see here we've given we've been given 8x plus 2y equals 2 and x plus 3y equals 14. Both these are linear equations, so if you were to graph them, and we've already talked about graphing a little bit, you know that if these systems actually have a solution, then they will intersect on the coordinate plane somewhere. And we, what we want to do is we want to be able to find that intersection, that one point, the x and the y coordinate, that's going to work for both solutions at the same time. Uh, substitution, this is an idea that you're very familiar with. Um, it's not any special version, it's just uh, we're going to use that idea and we're going to work from one equation to the next. Uh, the very first thing you do is you're going to look at your equations. Sometimes you have a better choice, sometimes it doesn't really matter. What you want to do is you want to look at your equations and you want to decide which of these do I want to solve for one particular variable. What you're looking for is kind of right here. Look in the second equation. What we have is we have a variable that has 1 as its coefficient, and that's the one you want to look for. If you have that, that's going to make it the easiest. Um, if you can, we want to take that one and we want to solve it for that variable. In this case, it's going to be x. And you can see right here, I have uh, picked this equation. I solved it for x. Uh, you look at it, and we have x equals negative 3y plus 14. Um, now that I have something that's equal to x, I'm going to take this x, or I'm going to really just take the other side, because this is equal to x, I'm allowed to substitute negative 3y plus 14 in for any x's that I have. So we look at the other equation, you see here we have an 8x and a 2y. The whole point of solving equations is if I've got one missing part, then the fundamental theorem of algebra basically says that you can always find that missing part if you know everything else. Well, now I know something about x. So I'm going to make that substitution. I'm going to take the x out, and I'm going to replace the x with the negative 3y plus 14. You can see that right here. Uh, and you can see the work. It's 8, and this is where x used to be, but now we've replaced it with what we solved it for before. Um, just like we've been practicing, we're going to do order of operations. We're going to we're going to make sure that we multiply and distribute properly, and then collect like terms. So I distribute my eight to both these values, and that's where it's going to give me negative twenty four y plus one twelve plus two y equals negative or positive two. Okay, so step two is just making that substitution and solving for the variable. Okay, so we're just really going to collect like terms, and if you work that properly, you can see the work on the screen. You're going to come down, and you're going to get, after you, the last step is divide by negative 22 on both sides, you get positive 5 is equal to y. Okay, the third step is to go back and find the other variable. It's really just three steps. So I take this y equals 5, and I go back. If you look up at our original equation, this was the one we started with. Right, it's 8x plus 2y equals 2, or I could take x plus 3y equals 14. At this stage, it does not matter which one you choose. I kind of like to make it as easy as possible, so I'm going to choose the second equation again. I could have chosen the first one. Uh, this is a good thing to, to note that when I get my x and my y, I should plug them into both of my equations. If they both work, I know that I've got the right answer. Okay, so let's just cho we'll choose one of them. x plus 3y equals 14. I'm going to replace the y because we know that y is 5. I put it here, and I just simplify. x plus 3 times 5 equals 14, and you can see that easily works out so that x equals negative 1. And if I plug in back at the top negative 1 and 5 into both of my equations here and here, I find out that both of them are true and it works. This is how you use substitution to solve a system of equations. If you need to watch it again or print this off and go through it step by step, please do that.